Well, good morning, guys. Today we are in Jongno Samga, Iksandong, and um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I am so tired and like not in the best mood today. So hopefully, we're gonna cheer me up. I had really bad like nightmares last night and I couldn't sleep very well. Um, that happens a lot when like I have a lot of work to do and I just think about it too much and then it just gets kind of caught in my mind. So we are going to hopefully have a very chill day but then also get some work done. Gonna find a nice balance. Right now we're heading to a new cafe um, and I always get lost here so I'm gonna put the camera down and figure out where on earth I am. And people are already eating meat and it is 10 a.m. So anyway, let's get going. Hopefully I will shake myself out of this funk with some good coffee. Good plan, let's go. It is exactly my style. It is crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. The chocolate chips are great and it's got like definitely walnuts in it. I haven't, yeah, 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 there are chunks of walnuts. It is like the most wonderful nutty chocolate chip cookie. I'm in love and um, they're really nice. This is a newish cafe. The view is obviously amazing. Um, upstairs, there is an insane view of Namsan. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end it now because we're gonna have company in a second, but yeah, I'm, what a wonderful find. Okay, now that I have been slightly recharged, the caffeine hasn't fully hit, um, I decided to come to the Seoul Museum of Art because I haven't been here in a really, really long time. Oops, cover him. And uh, yeah, still, still definitely very tired, but um, hopefully this will bring me some inspiration, wake me up a little bit. It's also getting quite hot, so cold museums on a warm day is just everything I need right now. I also feel the cold that I thought I got rid of coming back it's a wild ride um let's get inside <laughs> Thank you. 
There actually wasn't much here. Oh god, there's so much drumming. There wasn't much here today. Um, kind of a bummer, but let's head to our next destination. The drums are honestly giving me a headache, so we gotta go. I'm complaining so much this vlog, I'm so sorry. So once upon a time when I first came to Korea, I remember a friend of mine telling me you should never walk down this street, the street that runs parallel with um, Doksung Dok Palace. Um, you should never walk down the street with your significant other because if you do, there's a superstition that you will break up not long after. And I've never heard that since. And I just wonder to any Korean soul light watching this, is this true? Is this a real superstition? Because there are so many couples, it seems like it's unavoidable to walk here with your with your other person. So, I don't know, just curious. I think about that every time I come here, so if you could uh, scratch that mental itch for me, I would really appreciate it. So now we're getting on a bus, <laughs> and um, we're gonna try that bookstore again. If you, I forget what vlog it was, but I attempted to go to a bookstore and it didn't, it, it just like did not open. Um, so now hopefully it is open and we can go check it out. So hop on a bus. It is hot, hot, hot. Let's go. Okay, so the other day I was walking around Garosugil, I hadn't been here in a while, and there has been this, oh god, noisy, noisy truck. There's been this little area under construction for the longest time, and it's been completely covered, you can't see what it is. And so the other day I walked by and it was open, and it's now this big, like, open marketplace. Um, it's really cool, so hopefully it's still open today, so we're gonna walk and just look around. It kind of reminds me of the Samjigil. Ooh. Samjigil area um, in Insadong, just with lots of little like local shops and stuff. So yeah, let's see. I have to pick up a makeup item. I'm out of my mascara and I really hope I've never gotten it in stores. I always get it online. So I really hope that they have it in stores. So we're gonna try and do that. Let's go. Well, 
Darn, I wish I had filmed when we were here on the weekend because the whole first floor was filled with a bunch of different like little booths selling things by little local artists and illustrators and stuff. The rest of this is more like clothing and kind of high-end, kind of expensive. If you're here on a weekend, definitely check out the first floor. It was really cool. A little lackluster today, sorry about that. But anyway, let's continue. Hopefully get my mascara on. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh man i just took a much needed nap um definitely lack of sleep kind of made a cold come on i think so um i'm just gonna rest for the rest of the day hopefully we do something a little bit more fun um i will keep you updated but something very exciting Kurt's grandmother lives in the Shigo 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 like her town literally has 20 people in it and she happens to grow grapes in her backyard and so we got some and that's what I'm gonna eat let's try out how many grapes this is something I honestly still need to get used to is not eating the skin Oh, and there's seeds. Oh my god. So when I was growing up, I really hated artificial grape flavored things, but now I understand why it tastes like this. If you've never had one of these, I don't want you to picture artificial grape flavor, but it's like I can see how the artificial grape flavor came into existence if you've eaten this grape. You know, um, it doesn't taste like a red grape. It is the flavor. I feel like once you try one of these red grapes, like typical American red grapes will taste like nothing, which is sometimes really good. I just think they're very refreshing, but these have an actual flavor. Like they really hit you. Ah, so good. I am going to try not to finish all of these because if I do, Kurt will get mad, but I'm going to eat a significant amount and I'm very excited. I'm oh my god, I'm already feeling so much better. It's as if cured by the grapes. Okay. Going to get back to work. Try not to sleep again. Let's go. Okay, guys, as promised, it's turning into a wild night. Um, Kurt has a dinner meeting. Um, and so I decided to order Dokboki, which I haven't had in probably at least a month i'm gonna get like a really nasty bubble i told you in my last vlog i either eat like a monk or i eat like this and um so yeah i'm gonna get that i think i just i want something really really spicy um to just kind of clear out my sinuses then i'm gonna take a shower steam it all out and then i'm going to end the night with a lot of tea and hopefully the cold will be gone because tomorrow I have to go to immigration and renew my visa and the next day I'm going to judge you for three days um, and then I come home for two days and then I leave for Europe. Um, so it's just not the time to be getting sick. As far as the judging stuff goes, I'm really excited to share it with you. I've talked about it, I think, on Instagram. Everything's been a blur, but basically the Jeju Tourism Organization reached out to me and um, they're sending me to Jeju. Like this is my first real like sponsored trip where they are like sending me there. They're paying me for making these videos. Like it's, it's like a legit job, which is really exciting. And it's totally up my alley, um, not to spoil it, but it's, specifically to promote Jeju travel with public transportation, which as you know, is the only way I've ever traveled in Jeju and I love that. So um, I'm just like, I'm really, really excited for it, but the timing is just so crazy. So I have to edit all my footage in like a day and a half before getting on my flight to Europe and I haven't packed. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really crazy. And by the time this is published, the deed will have been done. I will hopefully have lived to tell the tale of my Jeju trip. Um, and hopefully those vlogs will 
come to life. But anyway, now I'm just going to like clean the house, get my life in order, wait for my tteokbokki, and I'll catch you guys when it arrives. Ooh. <laughs> Greetings. Here she is. First of all, so much panguji. I could die. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so, the place that I ordered, um, this particular leaf is called a sesame leaf. They put them in kimbap. You, you see it a lot. But in Korean, it is called kit, is like sesame, I guess. And then ip is leaf but when they say it together catnip it sounds like catnip i think that's very funny anyway um yeah this place for some reason they put um you can get it with like a ton of it on it and sometimes i like it sometimes i don't today is a day that i do i'm going to eat this topoki. i'm gonna watch inception because kurt and i just filmed our like favorites video which i think already came out um favorite films and i realized i love inception but i haven't seen it in a million years so i'm gonna watch it because it's on netflix and i'm gonna eat this pig out and hopefully finish this and like completely dispose of it before kurt comes home so i feel less shame <laughs> okay bye so I made up my mind. okay steps two and three have been completed on the attack carries cold agenda i have showered and um i just made some tea i just remembered as i was about to make tea that my beloved electric kettle that i've had for five years um finally died on me it does not work anymore so i had to do it the old way and um use my like ramen pot to heat up the water and the only reason that that is not good is because unlike a kettle that you would put on top of the stove it doesn't whistle when it's done and so i was sitting here my memory is going and i heard like water running or something and i was like that's really weird we never hear our neighbors like in the shower or anything like that it suddenly hit me that oh it's my water is boiling so a dangerous world out there without electricity anyway i'm gonna kind of wrap it up here to be honest i want to sort of apologize for this vlog i was thinking about it in the shower um i know that you guys always say that you don't mind like just sitting and chatting and like seeing the weird things that i do throughout the day but i always feel kind of bad when more than half of my content is me like in my home um, instead of like out doing something interesting in Seoul. So yeah, I just, um, I apologize. I know that I personally like, like the people I like to watch on YouTube, I would watch them do absolutely anything. Um, imagining that there is someone out there who is interested in me um, taste testing grapes. I can't, I can't wrap my mind around it still. So um, bear with me. I still have a lot of self doubt and all that stuff, so. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this movie, chug this tea, Kurt's gonna be home any second now. I also, perfect timing, just got this for free, like something I bought at the convenience store, um, allowed me to have these little packets of vitamin C, I guess, I don't know. Um, might be a placebo, but I'll still take it. And anyway, thank you as always for joining me. I will see you guys again soon. By the time this is posted, I will be in scotland i will be almost done with my scotland trip um and then i will be coming back i'll be here for a week and then i'm gonna go to washington dc for my cousin's wedding which is exciting so yeah i am um, i'm very very excited for what is to come and i just thank you all for continuing to be on this journey with me i will see you guys next time bye it evaporates, oh, oh, oh.